The theme, in my view, is timely. It is needed. And it is needed for so many reasons. Because of the call of the people to the churches, the challenge to the churches to right the injustices of the poor, the oppressed, and the marginalized. I believe that this theme uh, will speak to the whole world, even to the civilized world of Europe and especially to Asia, where, uh, where there is no peace, you know, and uh, you can see in different regions, different countries, that the people have uh, lost their peace, you know, and they're fighting with one another. They have uh, divided themselves in, uh, in small groups, small language, groups and tribes and this and that you know so i believe that this uh, theme will speak not only to the pakistani church not only to the asian churches and asian communities but it will speak to the whole world so, so peace is the precondition of justice so the same thing to the situation of the world and uh, and i'm so pleased to uh, to hear that uh, the theme is, uh, is based on justice and peace. And so this is the message to the whole world. And also it's, it's uh, proclaiming, it, it affirming that, uh, that, uh, that our Christians believe that uh, we uh, proclaim uh, uh, peace and based on justice. Very, very sure that not only the Christians, but also other people of other beliefs will be also attracted to the concern of justice and peace. Out of experience, when we just take up this theme together and do not talk about differences of religions, but care for the justice and peace for everyone, then we can be together, we can struggle together, we can fight together for the rights of the people. Justice and peace. Actually, the, the government side also, they, they are always saying and telling about the justice and peace. Even the minority ethnic groups, some groups, they are saying justice and peace. But what happened up to now, it cannot be settled. So for the ordinary layman, it is difficult to understand what it means. But for me, uh, the result is, uh, the answer is very clear. It should be, uh, it can be solved on the, uh, through dialogues. Uh, injustices are somehow uh, can be associated with those powerful, with those rich who are um, greedy enough to, to, to accumulate more for themselves and not for the people. So. As I look into the justice and peace context, I see people um, uh, holding hands, uh, rich and poor, the, the cultural minorities of our country, um, the, the foreigners coming into the country and enjoying what we have in our country, and engaging in a more lively and uh, participative um, environment. I think first time is very it's interconnected with each other. So no justice without life and peace. No life without peace and justice. No peace without justice and life. If we have God, we have life. If we without God, we have not life. And the theme for justice and peace is, is, is real in God who make peace in the world. It's not just about uh, justice and peace uh, out there, but it's, it's, uh, it's about justice and peace in the church as well. And there are often uh, ways where the church images the uh, injustices uh, and, and the conflicts of the world. Often we do conflict very badly in the church. Uh, we should be modeling how conflict could be uh, done creatively uh, uh, with, with engagement and respect. Our world needs the church to model uh, 
better ways of doing conflict, of managing uh, peacemaking. The judges are aware that uh, this is not something given on a plate, but it is something that, for which we have to strive every day. But if we can model engagement with each other in that diversity, if we can model um, really deep listening and uh, respect uh, for the different cultures that are in the church and reflected through the church, then I, then I think uh, we can show something to the world. Something like uh, a prayer or wishes. The Blue CC is praying for us, together with us, something like that. We are encouraged uh, to, to be active movers, to, to be instruments. This theme is not merely a statement, but it is a call to action.